Yes. So they are creepy, they are crawly, and they are spreading fast. Nearly 2,000 black leg ticks have been reported in Canada this year. More than half found in Ontario alone. That is raising a lot of concerns about the outbreaks of Lyme disease. We are heading into summer. With more, we're joined by Dr. Isaac Bogosh. He's an infectious disease specialist. Ew, gross. Uh, how severe is this season shaping up, especially when it comes to ticks, and especially in the province of Ontario, where they've got half of the amount found? Yeah, unfortunately, we're seeing more and more cases of Lyme year after year after year uh, throughout Canada. There's, of course, hot spots in Canada. Um, you know, Nova Scotia, southern Quebec, southern Ontario, some parts of southern Manitoba and British Columbia. But, you know, I think it's fair to say that with time, we're going to see more and more cases of Lyme in a broader geographic range throughout the country. Our winters are just not as cold and not as long. And these is, this is allowing ticks to survive and thrive throughout the winter and in more, uh, more areas. So, yes, we will be seeing more and more Lyme in the years ahead, unfortunately. Yeah, at least 60 cases of Lyme disease have been reported in Ontario. That is since March. With sightings of the black leg ticks on the rise, what are your concerns about the spread of the disease? Well, look, there's a few. I think one is we just need uh, more and more Canadians to realize that Lyme is out there and to, to consider this. Uh, also, I think healthcare providers need to be aware of Lyme as a potential diagnosis, even outside of areas in Canada that are, are known to traditionally have Lyme. And I think some very simple public awareness of how to prevent infection, uh, how to recognize a tick, how to remove a tick. I think a lot of that, 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 that type of information will go a long way. And of course, of course, you know, we're blessed with the best summers in the world. Canada has amazing summers. People should be outside and having a wonderful time. This is just a, a mere nuisance, but of course, we can prevent Lyme infections and, and have a wonderful summer. And with them on the rise, you know, you mentioned something important, which is they're outside the typical areas. When you're going in the woods, when you're walking in a field, you know to check for ticks afterwards. We were recently just sitting in a friend's backyard, and my husband ended up with a tick bite. And we didn't, you know, we were just sitting on the couches outside. He went to the pharmacist, and as a reminder, that's, you could also go to your pharmacist, visit your pharmacist to get help with, you know, medication for after a tick bite. But if a tick does bite you, what do you need to do? So first step is to actually recognize that there's a tick bite. So when you come in from out of the out of doors, have a, have a good look at uh, areas of your body. And it's also helpful to have someone look maybe behind the legs at places where you might not be able to see, because these can be pretty small. You remove the tick if there's a tick attached, tweezers, a bit of pressure right where the uh, tick meets the skin. You don't crush it, you don't twist it. It's just de gentle torsion. There's wonderful videos online on the Public Health Agency of Canada webpage to show exactly how to do this. You've got to be careful, too, to make sure you get the whole tick out sometimes. I know it's gross, but it can get <laughs> smushed, and there's little bits of tick left behind inside. You've got to get those pieces out as well. If you need a hand with this, your friendly neighborhood health care provider can help you out. All right. And what about things like medication or if you're concerned about Lyme? Yeah, great point, and thanks for bringing that up. So if the tick's been attached for a little while and then it's been removed... Uh, you've got about a 72-hour window uh, to get what's called Lyme prophylaxis. And as you point out, you can go to a doctor for this, but many pharmacists and pharmacies throughout the country, especially in provinces that have Lyme, can give this medication without a prescription, without a doctor's uh, uh, prescription. So that's, that's very useful. It just lowers barriers to care and improves access to care. Sooner is better. The drug is called uh, doxycycline. It's an antibiotic. It's helpful in reducing the risk of developing Lyme, of course, nothing's perfect, but it is helpful. It's got to be given within 72 hours of removing the tick. Yeah, hey, listen, soccer season has started up, all the outdoor activities, so now is the time to be studying and knowing what you're looking for. Dr. Bogosh, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.